In the last video, we used a direct comparison test to determine whether a series converged or diverged. So I promised we'd use the limit comparison test in this video, and we will here in a second. But first, some things to keep in mind when you're looking at a series. You should ask yourself, does the sequence inside the series converge to zero? If the answer is no, we're finished because our series will diverge. In this case, the answer is yes. You'll notice that the power on n is larger in the denominator than it is in the numerator, so the sequence does go to zero, so we have to keep going. You might think about whether or not this series alternates. An alternating series will have a term in it that looks something like that. We don't have that in this case, so we'll have to talk about alternating series later. Another question you might answer is, can we easily integrate this thing? I would say no, we cannot easily integrate this. So the last question is, do we expect that this series behaves like something we already know? So taking a look back at this series, as n gets really big, we expect the numerator to behave just like n. And as n gets really big in the denominator, we expect this 1 to not play much of a part at all in the value of each term. So as n gets big, we expect this denominator to behave like the square root of n to the 8th power. Taking a square root of that n to the 8th gives us an n to the 4th. Simplifying gives us a 1 over n cubed. So we actually expect this original sum to behave like a p series with p equals 3. Because p is bigger than 1, we expect our sum to behave like a convergent series. To confirm that, we technically need to do a limit comparison test. We're going to take a limit as n goes to infinity of the sequence inside of our original series divided by the series that we're comparing to. In this case, we're comparing to 1 over n cubed. Flipping over that 1 over n cubed and multiplying gives us an n to the fourth in the numerator. Of course, plugging in n equals infinity at this point would give us infinity over infinity. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over n to the fourth. In the numerator, that simplifies things quite a bit. n to the fourth divided by n to the fourth just gives us a 1. In the denominator, we need to play a little trick. We won't be able to combine the 1 over n to the fourth with this square root term, so we need to write 1 over n to the fourth as 1 over the square root of n to the eighth. Then combining those two square roots gives us this right here. Dividing both of those terms by n to the eighth, and now we're finally in a position where if we plug in n equals infinity, we get that this limit is 1 over the square root of 1, which is just 1. Now, this limit comparison test says that if the limit of the quotient of our two sequences, the limit that we just took, is finite and not zero, uh, that is the case here because we got 1 as our limit. Then the two series either both converge or both diverge. So now by doing all this work in pink, we know that our original series and this series that we were comparing to, this 1 over n cubed series, either both converge or both diverge. Well, we know that this 1 over n cubed series converges. Therefore, we know that the series given to us in this problem converges by using the limit comparison test with the series 1 over n cubed. All right, those can be pretty confusing, but I know that practice all always helps, so why don't we check out the next video?